All right, so I'm going to do a quick little uh, rigged up experiment right here to show you why three and four fill up at the same time. As you can see, you got two bottles, equal size. Obviously, this isn't a professional test setup. In a perfect world, you'd use the exact same containers at the exact same height with the correct size uh, diameter of pass-through tubing. But whatever, it's the same principle. I mean, it applies even to this kind of rigged up setup. So basically, what I'm going to do is take this water, pour it into chamber three, as you can see up here, first. And what's going to happen is that they'll reach an equilibrium. Once the water gets past the certain point of the tube, uh, the pressure of the water has to increase a bit for it to be able to overcome the, the gravity to be able to come through here and start filling chamber four. But eventually, once they get to an equilibrium, and again, this isn't a perfect setup because maybe the tube is too uh, small of a diameter, maybe it's too high compared to like the principle they're trying to show here, but the principle itself is still the same. So, anyway. What I'm saying is going to happen here is that three and four are going to come to the same height at the same time. I only have so much water, but if I had more, you would see that they do actually wouldn't end up overflowing at the same time. So we're not quite up to the level of the tube yet. It's probably going to take a minute. Again, this is uh, chamber three, chamber four. We're just starting to cover the tube now. So what's happening is that the, uh, the pressure of the water that's above the level of the tube needs to overcome gravity to be able to start moving the water into chamber four. So again, this could be, this uh, amount of time it's taken for that to happen would be different if the tube was mounted lower or if the uh, tube in four was mounted higher. That changes everything because it would have started happening sooner because there would be more water above the level of the uh, above the level of the tube. So we're still filling, nothing happened yet, still trying to overcome gravity to get it into uh, tank 4. Should be seeing something here in a second. And again, remember, uh, the question is, which one fills up first? And here we go. Tank 4 is starting to fill. We're nowhere near being full on uh, tank 3. Still plenty of water to go. Wish I had a bigger container to uh, use. So you could I could actually have enough to fill up both, but I don't, so... As you can see, Tank 4 is starting to fill, and Tank 3 is staying at the exact same level, so what does that tell you? What kind of prediction can you make off of that? What's going to happen? Tank 3 is still at the same level, and I'm still pouring. Meanwhile, Tank 4 is quickly catching up, and I'm slowly running out of water. And tank 4 is almost at the same height as tank 3. Tank 3 hasn't moved since the water started moving into tank 4. So now you can see they are almost exactly the same height. If I had more water to put in, they would reach the same height and then start filling up together at the same time. As you can see, they're the same levels. So let me move the camera up a little closer so you can see. But you can see they're at the same level. So if I keep pouring water in, now they're going to start rising to the top at the exact same time. Three and four fill up at the same time. It's your science lesson for today, kids.